The HyperX Cloud 2 wireless headset takes a different approach to resetting compared to traditional gaming headsets. Understanding how this system works is essential for effective troubleshooting. Unlike many electronic devices, the HyperX Cloud 2 wireless does not have a physical factory reset button. Instead, it relies on a soft reset approach to resolve issues. Several common issues indicate when a reset might be necessary. These include audio cutting out intermittently, microphone detection problems, connection failures with the USB receiver, and unbalanced left-right audio channels. These issues typically stem from five main technical causes. Firmware corruption from incomplete updates, driver conflicts with Windows audio systems, memory buffer overflow from accumulated processing errors, wireless interference on the 2.4 GHz frequency, and battery calibration problems affecting power management. As of 2025, there are four primary reset methods for the HyperX Cloud 2 wireless. First, holding the power button for 15 to 20 seconds while powered on. Second, disconnecting and reconnecting the USB receiver. Third, using the HyperX Ingenuity software for firmware resets. And fourth, allowing the battery to completely drain before recharging. Understanding these reset methods is crucial because the soft reset approach requires a systematic process rather than a simple button press. This knowledge forms the foundation for effective troubleshooting of your HyperX Cloud 2 wireless headset. The first troubleshooting step is performing a soft reset. This clears the headset's internal memory and resolves most connectivity issues. If the soft reset doesn't resolve the issue, the next step is to reset the USB receiver connection. Disconnect the receiver from your computer, wait a few seconds, then reconnect it. For more persistent issues, use the HyperX Annuity software. This allows you to clear pairing history and reset audio profiles to their default settings. If audio issues persist, the problem may be driver related. Access Windows Device Manager to uninstall and reinstall the audio drivers for your headset. As a last resort, perform a complete battery drain reset. Allow the headset battery to fully discharge, then recharge it completely. This recalibrates the power management system. After completing any reset procedure, always verify the fix by testing audio across multiple applications. Test music playback, voice chat, and gaming audio to ensure all functions work properly. 